and welcome to Brooklyn's Barbie Bay and look what I found I'm taking you back absolutely what do you know about the exclusive only at Walmart back in the day monster high power ghouls yes and I have Frankie Stein right here I decided you know what it's about to be you know everybody's unboxing these G3 dolls these packs I don't have a pack I can't find a pack but what I do have is the old school crew of the Monster High Cat Catastrophe Wonder Wolf and the Voltages Frankie still in the box absolutely so I went into my stash of Monster High dolls I have never opened and decided, hmm, today let's do a throwback and let's look at these amazing exclusive only at Target dolls unboxed. Absolutely right here, I'm unboxing one of my prized possessions, one of my treasure sets and I'm doing it here with you all today. Let's start with our girl Frankie because she is one of my faves. Okay, so... I've taken Frankie out of the box and she still looks really good. I mean, I, I think she looks absolutely amazing still. She's got that pretty, now I don't know if this was supposed to probably be platinum blonde and now it's like regular blonde hair. Um, Cause as you know, she wasn't, you know, she was in her, she was in her box for many, many years. Um, and then here's her little thing that goes on her head, I think. Oh, I think I have it on backwards. Hold on. Um, one of the things I can truly appreciate. Yeah, there it is. It goes like that. About, and I'm just going to stand her up behind because I haven't put her, her, her um, stand together. Was I remember, y'all remember the Monster High stands? Oh, and inside the box, it was so dusty, y'all, because it's been so, so long since I, you know, even... Had her. Now I'm trying to figure out like how does she go on the stand? How does she used to go on the stand? Kind of like just like this? Okay. I guess just like this, right? I think. Oh Lord. Okay, I gotta batten down the hatches a little bit better than what I did. But um it's all you know older, of course. You know, it's been a minute since um I've even opened this doll. Oh, I haven't, I never opened her. So it's just really nice. Uh, for whatever reason, I always would be like, I don't want to open my dolls out of the box, especially my Monster High dolls. My daughter, this was hers, and my daughter's 21 now, so I'm, I'm like dating myself with everything. But she's 21, and so these were hers actually, and I just kind of took over her collection. But they were, we were crazy about Monster High, and um, Frankie looks absolutely amazing, still out of the box. And if you all remember. She came with this voltaceous, um, like, comic book. And it says, like, issue one on it. And then you open it up and you have, like, a real live comic that you can read through. So, definitely keeping these. Amazing, right? And you know what? I didn't have Gulia. So, I'm sad about that. Be on the lookout. Another hero is following the Claws of Chaos. So, um, this is the Voltages. Um, definitely going to keep that. She comes with a little comb, as you know, with the Monster High. The doll is just absolutely beautiful. just want to bring her in a little bit closer so you all can get a really good look at Frankie. Um, she's got her little headset on. Her face still looks amazing. Face is still beat. She's got her beautiful little earrings and like little lightning bolts or whatever those are. Um, face paint is still excellent. She's got on her um, outfit that she came in, which is kind of like a silver with her um, lightning bolts on the side here. She's got her skull on the top of the dress. She's got her really cute boots. Like she's getting ready to go kick some behind. Okay. She's got her bangles on her arms. And she's got her electric, like her cape is like electricity. And I thought that was really cute how they did that. So yeah, this is our Frankie. I absolutely am glad to have her out of the box. And we'll let her sit to the back as we get ready to open our next one. 
Okay, so the next one in our Power Ghoul series we have is Claudine Wolf, and she is playing the Wonder Wolf. So this one says a howling for force for justice, as you can see. She's in her box looking fabulous. Love her boots as well. And on the back, um, it looks like there was a Spectra as well. That's what I forgot to say. Like on the back, I don't have the Spectra one. Um, Wonder Wolf checks checkmates disaster monster high gory gazette and this is a lot to read but um it had like that whole storyline behind it which i thought was super cute so let's take claudine out the box and see how she looks okay and here we are now with claudine wolf and she is a wonder wolf wonder woman and i absolutely love it very very cute out of the box you know she's got a little I've been sleeping hair um but nothing that a nice little hot water boil you know and, and me doing some zhuzhing you know will get her back to where she needs to be Claudine Claudine has a different type of stand I think it's kind of neat that the dolls all don't have like the same exact stand so her stand put this right here so you can let her lean for a minute her stand um, it is this one that has the monster high on it and it has like the backing so that you can it's kind of like on a little tilt actually you know so how you can pose her on the stand then our beautiful Claudine up close has on her little leotard onesie right it's all one piece it's got her little galactic belt around it um, I love the fact that it's all kind of like that old galactic I call it galactic um, coloring you know like that purple shimmery purple that shimmery green that she has on she's got her hand and her arm ties one on her um, upper arm she's got her cute boots on you know you can't fight crime without a nice pair of heels right you've got to be clicking through the alleyways clack, 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 clack. Um, and she's just a really really cute girl she's got her shield you know to ward off any bad guys so I think, you know, Claudine is absolutely cute in her wear, her Wonder um, Wolf. Let's put her back on her stand. Hold on one second so we can admire her a little bit more. Um, absolutely am loving Claudine. She also comes with this Wonder Wolf comic. So in this series, you also have a series one. Wish they would have came out with series Two and you know other dolls too in this because I think they, they were really going somewhere with this series I thought it was super cute um, I love that it was um, and you know what I'm looking at this right so it says be on the lookout another hero is haunting evil and you know that's um, what was that spectrum on the back of here and I'm looking at the voltaceous one this was Claudine on the back of there so um, as I'm trying to remember how many of these ghouls, you know, were in the series. I only had three of them, unfortunately. I only got three. Um, but the next one coming up was my absolute fave and the hardest one for me to find. Guess who that was? If you don't know, now you know. It is Toralai. Catastrophe. This was the hardest for me to find at Target. Um, but when I got her, I just knew I was going to absolutely hold on to her. So I'm excited about even opening this because she was my hardest. I kept her in her box and um, now I'm ready to see. Um, and you see you, she's got Frankie on the back of her box. A whole thing. I'm not going to throw her boxes away. I'm not going to throw any of the boxes away. Because I think it's, the art was so amazing and don't want to get rid of this, you know, at all. But let's get her out the box and see what she looks like. So here is Miss Torlai, and you know her box was so funny. It says she's the crafty kitty of chaos. I absolutely love it. Um, I am in love with Torlai. She is one of my favorite villains of Monster High, and she's a villain. She's a mean girl, but she's you know she has a soft side to her. I've always said as well. So she's always been one of my favorite Monster High girls. Um, not so nice girls. And um, let me take her off her stand. This She came with the same stand as Frankie. She has her tail in the back, as you can see. She's got a onesie. I call them onesies or a um, 
one whole unit of tard um, on with her red boots. They're a little dusty because she's been in the box, but she looks absolutely fab, doesn't she? Yay, hi everybody. She's got her little black mask on and on her onesie, she's got a kitty on the front of it. On the back, still all together, one unitard. Her hair is in a pony. It has a lot of product in it. And uh oh, I forgot to take this out, hold on. And I was just about to say, like when I was cutting this out, they really, they, it really wasn't so, so bad. Like, I'm making sure not to cut her hair, you guys. Hold on a second. Okay. Okay. So we got those out of her hair. Sorry about that. But hey, if you find a flaw, you just go ahead and you fix it on camera. So Toralai does have some product in her hair, as you can see, some shedding because it's old. I mean, I definitely am going to give her a little zhuzhing up so she can sit on her shelf and look absolutely amazing with the rest of my Monster High collection. Um, and then, so it's not gelled here, which is really nice, but just this little piece right here of her, I call it like her stripes, is kind of hard. Um, and then she's, it's up in a ponytail. She's got her earrings in her ears. It's so Toralai. Her makeup is absolutely gorgeous. And look at those eyes. Piercing, isn't aren't they? Yes. Reminds me of a little Eartha kit. So, I'm extremely happy with Toralai. And as you can see, she also comes with her Catastrophe um, comic book. As you can see, it gives you a whole storyline about, look, it shows you her as a young tot. It has the rest of the three girls down there at the bottom, the rest of the three girls at the bottom. So it looks like there were four in this entire series. Um, and I'm not sure, I want to say that Guya was one as well. Um, and then here's Frankie on the back of her book. Be on the lookout, another hero is drawing on the power of justice. So, you know, I'm going to go back like later and read some of these little comics. So it looks like I'm missing the two, which was the Spectra and it was the um, Guya. Um, I doubt Guli is so hard to find like anything or you're going to pay like a high, high penny for her. But here's my collection of the um, exclusive Target only um, dolls. I'm absolutely happy with them. Um, the Power Ghouls look amazing. I'm out of the box now. I'm definitely going to give the hair a little bit more attention to kind of get them back, you know, to looking fierce as they already do but love my monster high collections i'm still in love with the old school monster high tell me how you feel about it like are you really um in love with this new generation three that's coming out or do you still have like this nostalgic love of the original dolls like i do next time i will open up some more i have a couple of more well more than a couple of the old school monster high series when it first came out before it discontinued and came back all zhuzhed up you know with the whole new look and a whole new attitude um leave your comments below don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel i'm always trying to bring you what i think you may want to see so you guys have a wonderful day stay dolly in the dolly verse and i'll talk to you later bye